What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev and in this video we're going to go over my $400 home office setup from Amazon. If you guys are brand new to the channel, if you're into tech, entrepreneurship, coding, or startups, anything like that, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. That's all we talk about here on this channel. This one should be pretty quick, guys. I just want to go over my home office setup and how much I spent for each individual item. And everything came from Amazon except, uh, I think, this mouse and one other item. It's a really small thing, my USB connector, but I'll show you guys that when we get there. So the first item is the desk, which was $118.87, and it was from Amazon, obviously. It's a 55-inch desk. Um, mahogany like fake wood I mean obviously for 118 bucks this is not gonna be real wood but you know I mean for me yo it was just about having somewhere to work and create content put things on my desk you know if I want to take notes or whatever just have enough space to you know have my phone and obviously um, the rock lamp and just a few other like little miscellaneous things that are usually here obviously I clean my desk up a little bit for the video but you know, I like having a little bit of space, so um, 55 inches works pretty well for me. Um, it works well on the wall I have right here, so it's a pretty good size for what I'm doing. I have two monitors on here, so um, it, it works well for basically holding two monitors plus my laptop. So that's the next item that we can jump into is the actual monitors themselves. So they are the 23.8 inch HP monitors, and these are about $110 a piece from Amazon. And um, I have no complaints at all about these monitors. I like them a lot. I wouldn't call them big necessarily, but they're really good for me. I wear glasses. So, you know, I like being able to either turn down the brightness, turn up the brightness, and also being able to, you know, zoom in and get a good clear image of text and things like that. Sometimes I want to give my eyes a break. So being able to turn down the contrast or the brightness on the screens and also being able to raise them up and down is really really convenient you can also flip these vertically which is really cool um i didn't get actually any footage of me flipping it vertically but i really like that a lot so if you want to actually take this monitor and just turn it this way or i guess you could probably see this one better but uh, maybe i can show you guys right now so if i just wanted to take this monitor and flip it like this uh yeah if you guys can see that i can work like this so i know it's probably like oh why would you want to work with a vertical monitor and to be honest, um, if you're reading things like ebooks or just books online or any type of actual text, this is a much more convenient way to read for me personally is what I found. There are use cases where sometimes you might wanna be able to view something from a screen that's vertical like this and it's nice to just have the option to go back and forth. So I really like these monitors for 110 bucks, 23.8 inches. Like I said, good visibility, good clarity on the screen. I have no complaints about them. I've had no issues with them going out or being buggy or anything like that. And um, I can also flip them vertically or horizontally and then you can raise them up and down. So they're really versatile. Next thing on the list is the mechanical keyboard that you guys see right here. So I love this thing not only because, you know, I don't know if you can tell, but I love the, the light backdrop and you can change like the direction of the lights and everything. So when you're working in the dark or whatever, it's just a really cool like vibe type of thing on your keyboard. And also the mechanical keyboard with this clicking gets kind of addicting once you get used to it. So um, yeah, no real like reason why you should get a mechanical keyboard, but you know, just for the sake of the video, showing you guys what I have, $30 from Amazon for the mechanical keyboard. Next up is just a USB mouse. So um, I got this from Walmart, I believe, but you can get this off Amazon for like nine bucks. Next thing up is the salt rock lamp. So um, I love the salt rock lamp because it just creates a, a cool energy in the in the room, especially when you know I don't really like really bright lights. Like right now I have this huge light on because I have to do this for YouTube. But uh, when I'm not doing YouTube stuff and everything, I don't like really bright lights. So um, the rock lamp just is a really good vibe. Like any time of day, uh, it's like the perfect amount of light for me to work and kind of think with. So uh, yeah, just love it. Um, this is $13 if you want to get this from Amazon. I also got this one from Walmart, but you know, again, you can get this for $13 from Amazon. Yeah, so the only other thing you guys need is like this little USB connector that allows you to just connect all these different things. So like, 
keyboard, external hard drive, uh, microphone if you have one, maybe if you need an extra port for your mouse. So depending on how many USB drives your laptop or your computer has, you might need this connector. Um, so it's really optional, but I needed one, so it was eight bucks for me. The last thing is just the HDMI cords that you need for um, your monitors to connect to you know, whatever computer you're using. And those actually come with these monitors. So there were two HDMI cords that already came with the monitors, but I'm gonna include the cost of two additional ones just in case you want longer cords than the ones that come with these so you can get six foot ones off amazon for nine dollars a piece so if you get two it'll be 18 bucks and for a grand total guys if you get everything that i just mentioned off amazon the grand total is 416.87 so for under 500 bucks you can have an entire home office setup this setup has helped me be so much more productive um like i showed you kind of just working with the screens and having multiple screens including my laptop which gives me a third screen so having everything set up to where you know i can do multiple you know things meetings live streams you know i mean it's just it's amazing my productivity i feel has gone through the roof because i'm able to kind of be all over the place i can kind of have something going on on this screen or if you just want entertainment like you want to watch something on youtube on this screen but have two other screens dedicated for work. It's just a really nice versatile setup. And I can also swap this setup out like my laptop. I can swap this personal laptop out with my work laptop and then use this for work, personal stuff, like whatever. So if you guys are brand new to coding or think about going to a coding bootcamp, check out the description box down below. Also for my free intro to coding bootcamp course where I give away everything I wish I would've known going into coding bootcamp. So you do a front end project, you get exposed to back end. So all it costs is your email address. There's also a link down there for a private Facebook group where there's other people that have gone over there and got all the free resources that I don't leave in the descriptions for these videos where you can go over there and just get all that stuff for free. So yeah guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Darren with Darren the Dev. I'll see you guys next video, all right? Peace.